we've been very happy with him. Um, his work at home has been good, and I just felt a day out, would, um, a day away from home, would give him a change and just get the adrenaline back up. Um, he hasn't been on a race course since the March meeting, so it was important just to give him a way day. And in terms of uh, his Hennessy chances, do you rate him as a, a very, a very serious contender for the contest? Well, I hope so. I think his form's there, and the bookmakers think so. So, you know, I, th- I hope we've got a serious chance. Yeah. And uh, Smart Place has uh, has been a fantastic hurdler. Has obviously been a fantastic chaser for you. I mean, do you have any long-term plans beyond the Hennessy, or is it very much a case of taking each day as it comes? Take each day as it comes. I mean, we, we, this has been his target really since the end of last season. We thought we'd start him at the Hennessy meeting, or in the Hennessy, and. You know, if, if he ran very well or improves a bit, then you hope he might be a Gold Cup horse. But we've got a fair way to go yet. But he's a youngster, and we, we think he's improved a bit physically since the since last year. But um, you know, we'll get the Hennessy out of the way first, and then see where we are and regroup. And uh, another of your stable stars, Uxie Zandra, who was fantastic at Cheltenham uh, earlier in the week. Um, at, well, how has he come out of the race? Uh, bouncing. I was there when he came off the lorry on, on Sunday night, and he couldn't get to his supper quick enough. So he, he was very pleased with himself, and uh, you know, he's grand. And, we won't do much of them this week. It's just a quiet week, and then we'll look at possibly taking him to Leopardstown over Christmas. And in terms of a prospect, I mean, how exciting do you think he could be? I think he is very exciting. You know, he's a, he was narrowly beaten at the festival last year, and he was a Grade One winner at Aintree. So no, he's a very exciting young horse. And reading the paper today that it's a, a career high for him, so he's obviously still improving. And another your stable stars, Border Success. Um, he's he's set for the Tingle Creek, I believe. He is. Yeah, he was second at um, Exeter a couple of weeks ago, and uh, yeah, the plan was always to head there. So that, that's where we're. Looking. And does he always look to be uh, a top-class horse in, in, in prospect, or has he kind of developed as, as the years gone on? No, we've always thought he was very good. I mean, he was unbeaten over hurdles his first season until we got to the Triumph Hurdle, and unfortunately he fell early on, and he just lost his confidence a bit. It took a couple of years, probably, certainly a year and a half, to get him right back. And You know, he started winning over fences last year, and you could just see him gaining confidence race by race. So we've always felt he was very good, but it took me a long time to sort of get him there. And if, if Sprinter Sacra and Sardar Guruji both turn up, I mean, um, they're obviously going to be very serious dangers, but do you think that he's got, he's more than enough got a, a kind of a chance in the Tingle Creek? Well, he's, the, he's the, the, one of the youngsters coming through. I, mean, I hope you're on very well. I mean, if, if other those two come back on top form, then we've got serious work on our hands, but it's nice to be part of the race.